We got an exciting one for you guys today. One of the most important things in wing foiling is how to scoop, how to pump. It is what you need to know for wing foiling. So join us, here we go. Thank you so much for joining us again today. We have something very exciting. In my opinion, the skill that you need to know wing foiling, especially, you know, summer is coming, you get light wind and you want to get going. So pumping is the skill that's to me the most important. So there is definitely a few ways uh, or, or a few things that are very important about this skill and we're going to cover it right here on the beach and then we're going to go in the water and show you real time on the water how to pump. But one of the, 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 the most important thing is with the movement that you do with your wing, which is not just an out and back, which you know might look like it is when, when you first see it, but there is a slight uh, difference, is that it is actually uh, uh, a circular motion going from top, grabbing it, and it's, it is this uh, movement. Now, the, the reason is like, if you just go out and back, you are basically just making your wing, uh, you are not like, your canopy is just gonna go like in and out and it's not really gonna create power. What you want is exactly like you said, is scooping. You wanna scoop the wind and try to keep that wind in your wing so that in between each stroke, you don't lose too much wind in your wing. Um, and then the other thing would be, and then you can add, add on to that, but it needs to be synchronized with what you do with your legs. Um, and at first, maybe you would, it would be a very minimal movement that you do with your legs when you are not getting used to it. But as you get used to it, the entire movement is gonna be like more intense and more intense. Um, but basically, as you scoop and you get the power in your wing, that's when with your feet, you need to transfer that, 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 that force that you are getting. You need to transfer it into the bird and that is translated into speed because really the key is to get up on foil, you need speed. So you want to try to get the, the, the minimum power you get in your wing. You want to translate that into speed. How, what would you add on to that? I don't even know what we're talking about. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So Gwen nailed it. And, and I'm going to add one important piece that I think is just so key. And he nailed it right in the beginning. And I, I want to overemphasize it. And that is, you know, he talks about this scoop and he, what he said was, it kind of starts high. Think about it. When you're trying to get up on foil, you, everybody makes it look like wing foiling is like your wing is at the side and it's right here. It's actually, if you think about it, you're trying to get that wing as high as you can because if I can scoop and pull, pull from up high, kind of down, what, what, it, what it'll also do is create that lift up, which helps you get up off the water, which is the whole point of a pump is to get yourself to lift up and get that board to unstick and get yourself off the water and then everything becomes efficient and you can put the wing wherever you want to put it because you have no drag. So in theory, Gwen's whole scoop is what he's saying is brilliant because we want to get that wing up high and, and, and my biggest tip that I would say that I think will help everybody out there is work with this on the land for a while because on the land you actually can feel this and you can feel the pump, you can feel the scoop lifting you and you can work on your motion to have it actually like Gwen said is 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 taking that scoop and putting it into your board and you can work on land and at first you're gonna be like whack whack and it's really uncomfortable and it's really awkward but you're gonna notice that after a while you're gonna create this motion that you actually wait for the wing to kind of engage and then scoop again it's not like you don't want to just do it all over it'll just be flapping right it's 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 actually a motion you start to feel and it becomes really smooth and you'll actually notice it if you play with it on the beach and you really work on that scoop but just all i can say is emphasize keeping that wing as high as you can because when i scoop down i'm actually lifting myself or trying to get that wing to lift me up versus if it, if it lifts me sideways it's just pulling me over which can help because you're trying to go forward but in theory it's better if it's lifting you up yeah so another thing that's important is your board, your, your board direction. So as you are waiting for the gust, you are pretty much like going slightly up when you are trying not to lose too much ground. 
as soon as you feel the gas and you start pumping, your bird is slowly going to go from, from going upwind to going slightly downwind. Not like cranking downwind totally, just slightly but it downwind. It bears off. So that's the first thing that happens. Then, as you start pumping, something that is important to me is you don't want to crank the bird, uh, the back, your back foot. You don't want, otherwise you're going to be plowing. Um, the foil, it's, to me, I think about like, there's a few things I think an about. An airplane like, taking off. One, like, if, if, if an airplane would take off super quick, they would need an incredible amount of power. Like, yes, a fighter jet could probably do that or whatever, like, uh, you know, acrobatic planes that have so much power, they just take off super quickly. We are talking about Gwen. pumping, trying to be <laughs> efficient. If you, if it's, you know, like, if you are like way overpowered, yes, you can do that. If you want to be efficient with the power you have in your wing, you can't do that. So you want to, you, what I think about is loading the front wing. So I'm, I'm, I'm uh, relieving my weight, trying to let the bird kind of rise and loading the front, my front foot basically. And that's kind of like that motion is when I push on the bird, when I'm taking the power from exactly kind of like scooting, I'm scooting more on my front foot and then I, I'm relieving my weight from the burn to like let it maybe rise a bit and then loading the front again. And, and on, the, on the water, if you would see the burn, what I think about is skipping. The bird is skipping rather than just doing a big like up and down. That, that is, you would need an incredible amount of power for that. You want the bird to skip, 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 and then make your way up. So it is, instead of big steps, to get up it's it's just small step and it does feel like the first like as just before you leave the water it feels like skipping yeah i mean i think that's it in a nutshell honestly i think you're going to see a lot of information on the water when we show you kind of the on the water view which will really show you but more importantly look that's it in a nutshell it takes time look it's not easy this is one of those skills that just kind of morphs into you it doesn't come overnight it just you kind of build into it and i can honestly say you guys are going to have a good laugh if you watch our very first video and then you come to this you know i think we even were doing like the the hand in like this because that was when the first sports started so it's evolved right so you're going to evolve too and i think that's important for you guys to know yeah ultimately the key is spend the time on water and you will figure it out you have to feel it for yourself we can give you all the tips in the world but you know that time on the water is going to be the most uh valuable that you know you can have so Let's get on the water and walk you through the process from the water. So I'm on a 44 liter board. It's not super windy, but we're gonna give it a shot, people. So, you gotta get out where it's deep enough. We're gonna lean on the board. All right, so the trick is, we're gonna get onto my knees and let this gentleman go first. We're gonna look for the wind. I'm now on my knees, so I'm ed edging into the wind really hard so I can get the most pressure into my wing. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop, I'm gonna make these big movements like this. And I'm just gonna wait for a puff. I'm gonna get my board moving. I'm gonna get up onto my feet. I'm gonna just keep that motion going. And as I start, I really wanna scoot. And I, di I didn't do any crazy movements. What I did was just try to scoop and really generate this motion which I can just increase my speed so much and I obviously cracked off a little bit when you the, the goal is to create the leverage and then when you get that scoop going you kind of crack off downwind a little bit ah, that was a lot of work Definitely a lot of work. Couldn't really talk through it. But basically, that one was on the edge, so I had to do a huge stroke, definitely more intense. I guess it's good to show the more intense way, but it shouldn't be really that hard. So let's see, let's try again. Let's wait for a gust. Right now, I barely have anything, but I see 
on the water, something coming. Now, because I have 58 liters, I'm still slightly sinking if I'm not moving at all. But as soon as I have a tiny bit of pressure in my wing, I'm good to go. So when I'm gonna start pumping, I'm doing a huge stroke and I'm trying to pump the bone up, I'm up. And it's loading, loading the front, the front of the foil. Not crank up, not crank back on my front foot. All right, let's turn around. So again, here we are, we're waiting for the puffs so I can get up and go. Not enough, I'm just gonna hang tight until a puff comes. Then we'll be back up and going. This is the difference, people, between a sinker and a regular board. Gwen and I do this to show you guys. If you're on a sinker, you're gonna wait and lulls. If you're on a volume board, you're gonna be up and going. So the difference is I can stand and go and probably get going with a larger board. Sinker board, if the wind shuts off, well, I'm just hanging out in the water waiting to go because I need the puff to get that board to come up to then do my pump. Unfortunately, that's how it works. And so we're just looking for power. We're waiting for it and then we'll climb that board up and we'll get going. So then what happened the other day, I was pumping and, and, and then I bumped into my sunglasses, scratched my lenses. I know, but there's a solution. TajimaDirect.com, all you gotta do, take a look, they'll literally ship you the lenses, whether you have prescription or not, doesn't matter. Just replace your lens, just like that. You don't ever have to replace your frames. You can take any frame you want and they'll cut it. It doesn't matter, it's that simple. You'll never go back to buying sunglasses, you'll just buy frames. Yeah, now my frames are like pretty cheap, they didn't have it on file. I send them my sunglasses, they cut new lenses, and now lenses are amazing. My frames are still good, I didn't have to throw them away, and now I see, and I'm, I'm like pumping so much more efficiently now. You'll only buy the lenses, life is good. You wanna see clearly, enjoy it, tajimadirect.com. All right, I see a good gust here. So I'm gonna pump and I skip. Boom. That's it. Dang, how fun is that? Man, this sport is just so awesome. Okay, hopefully you learned something today. You know, the goal is to just give you a bunch of different ways of looking at it so that hopefully we can help you this summer, next winter, whatever it is, to enjoy this wing foiling, which is one of the coolest sports on the planet. And we hope you can share it with others and we wanna hear your comments, leave your, you know, anything to help others. Cause the goal of this is just to share the love, get people out there loving it just as much as you do or we do. On that note, what do we have to do? We need to leave a nice message for everybody. Gwen, yeah, what are we just, gonna say today? Just enjoy, you know, the, 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 the small, like, the small things. And, and really like, yeah, you know, maybe you look at somebody on the water and you're like, you know what, one day I wanna be like, you know, like, Gwen. like, like this guy. And but then, I don't know friend. <laughs> <laughs> but, but along the way, you know, there's so many every day, you know, like every day there's something that you are getting closer. And to me, like, sometimes it doesn't even feel like you are, like, making progress. But that, that time was beneficial. You know, even if you didn't make progress, then if you had not gone out, you, that session would have been the next one. And so even if you didn't make any progress, you know, be happy because that time is valuable. And in the end, just enjoy, have fun with, with, with what you have. It's, it's always, like, important to be grateful for what we have. I love it. And just to add to that, even if you didn't make it to the water, if you think about it, watch a video, just take some time for yourself to try to learn something, whatever it is, and you just put a little time into that because it benefits you to try to learn something new. I think that's a step in the right direction. Just, know, just take every baby gain. A lot of people are like, I gotta get it. And it's like, well, you know, first you gotta think about doing it. You gotta, how am I gonna do it? And you just, all those steps, give yourself some credit. And that's, that's a start. It's, you don't just stop drinking because you stop drinking. You, you, you gotta take the baby steps to get there. I mean, for sure, people do cut cold turkey. I'm just saying that give yourself a reward of every little gain you get. So on that note, we love you guys. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much for all you do and all your comments. We love you. 
And uh, we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Okay, so we're gonna ride along, we're gonna get our speed up, and we're gonna crack off downwind. We're gonna roll this wing right over our backs, and hopefully it'll sit there 